All right, this next video, it's kind of dark, I just got home. It's about an explanation of a process known as SRT, single right, rope technique. Quality. And the tool that Kalen's going to be explaining oh. is the Rope Runner Pro. There's a whole bunch of them on the market. There's the zigzag with the chicane. There's the akimbo, and there's a few more of them out there. But uh, he opted for the, the Rope Runner Pro. And we want to show you all the equipment that goes with it, the knee ascender, the foot ascender, the chest harness, all the tools. So hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm very, very new to SRT, so I'm not an expert by any means. Kalen is also not an expert, but we are learning. And I think he does a pretty good explanation. Plus, he'll take you up in the tree. I'm guessing about that long. Okay. Oh, you oh, I break it too, too much. Fast. Too much break. <laughs> Killed it. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh -oh. You're still a boy, so you get a small one. Brand new rope. Have you even used that rope? No, I just got it a couple days ago. On the Brand minute. new. What kind of rope did you get? It's a two full burger, uh, tacky on green. How much was it? One sixty. One sixty. And it's one hundred and twenty feet. Uh, one fifty. One fifty. All right. There it is. Too high, damn it. That's where we should have held the rope a little bit. <laughs> Let me pull it. Down. Did you put more in this time? Oh, damn, I'm fine. You did, huh? Come back. Come over there. Let's see it. What? Oh, there we go. No, oh, oh, no, that's fine that. except no, for that no, one. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. Well, you didn't want to go over there, but it'll come no, up there. Right. So, all right, I'm the first to admit that I'm old school. I still use a taut line hitch or a Blake hitch, and I'm prepared to get into some new gear. My son, Kalen, bought, what is this called, the Rope Runner? The Rope Runner Pro. Rope Runner Pro. And it's, let me show it to you. It's like this. And it's supposedly midline um, attachable. And what you're doing now is you're going to run it all the way up to that limb up there as a single line. Yeah. And then how do you get it back down? Well, so, tying out my butterfly here. Okay. Right there in the center. Is the knot quickie. All right. You could, you could feasibly just thread the rope through there. Uh-huh. Right? And then this line, it cinches at the top, and then you have one static line and then one retrieval line. Got to make sure you don't climb on the retrieval line at any time because you'll just fall to your death. Okay. But so, but to reduce the friction, you can put a little notch quickie on here. Like this. This is new to Kalen too. So yeah. You know this is. This uh, is all new. You can tell. This it's brand is what, new rope. Yeah, brand new rope. Brand new. You've only used this once, right? Um, I've climbed it a few times. Yeah. A few I times you practice it. Okay, so, so you pull it all the way up this way, yep. and and both lines stay on the ground, so you've got one to pull it back down with. I get right. it. So you, if you're hundred, so your 150 foot rope can only go as high as a 75 foot branch. Exactly. Okay. And yeah, but so see how this is a fixed line right here now? Yeah, that's the one you climb right. from the single. The retrieval line. And that one doesn't have to be tied to anything. Nope. Okay, that makes good sense. Yeah. So then, this is... This will be kind of an interesting climb for you. Yeah. So this will be the line we climb on right here. So to put the quickie on... Right, How does that go? Not, but, okay, so... Now the, the uh, zigzag is not midline attachable. But I believe the akimbo is and the rope runner is. And I have never seen the akimbo in use except on videos. Let's see. This way here. I guess they call this top part of the bird. Okay. These are pretty pretty cool. So these all come apart. It's a little it's a little fiddly at first, but I, I imagine you just get better at it. Okay. So boom. That's two. Okay. And then you've got one more here. So clearly you want to double check and triple check all your stuffs. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I like I said, this is a first time experience for me. Yeah. And clearly my son is pretty new mm -hmm. to it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it is. I mean, I've only climbed a couple, couple of trees in it with it. But you've watched a lot of videos on this, haven't you? I have, yeah, but it's good to get actual practice. Okay. All right, so this is the adjustment for the diameter of the rope. Right there. And so that would be the most restrictive. See how it puts the biggest bend. This would be the least restrictive. And uh, I guess we'll... Uh, that wouldn't work at all, though, would it? it um, yeah, I think it would still work. It would just probably go really fast. So you have to change this depending upon the diameter of the rope right. that you're using. So this one's 11.5. And so I'll put it kind of right there in the center. Yeah. With the uh, half-inch rope that I had, I had to have it all the way on the other side. Otherwise, it was really restrictive. There we go. That's nice and tight. Okay. Do you have to adjust each of them or just that one? Just that one. Just that that's one. the only adjustment there is. Okay. And that's to, to get that. All right. Okay. Go ahead and explain how this thing works. All right. The whole system. So this is the rope runner and that's your primary attachment point, which keeps you on okay, the line. Attaches to this locking yes. carabiner to your main clip. You've got this bungee down to yeah. your, your that's foot. A Haas foot ascender. Okay. Well, a knee ascender, really. And uh, so you have one on your knee and then one on your foot. Okay. And the beauty of that is, I'll show you in a second. All right. So, oh, that's kind of cool. So that goes on and off real easy. And then these two are on like that. All right. And then you stand up. Chest ascender helps advance the device. And then this one. Probably helps to have somebody steady the rope, huh? A little matter? bit at the beginning until the, the weight on the rope. It's got enough weight now. So it's nice to have all the ascending be done with the leg. That was pretty fast. Literally. <laughs> Is that the way you want to go down? Why not? It's up to you. Yeah. Let's see, it just barely hits the ground. Yep. <laughs> but it hits the ground. Yeah, but so, since we have a retrieval system there, I could go to the other side of the tree over here, do a bunch of trimming. All right, go all the way out to the end of that branch. Okay, it's going to really swing if I fall, but... Well, don't fall. If you were in a tree and you had to get out to the end, that's what you'd have to do anyway, so. Sure. Is it a faster descent? It is, but now how? Somehow I got all tied up with the other rope. Oh, you decided to go on that side of the branch for some reason. Yeah. Okay, tell me what you're saying. Because this adjustment, I think, is uh, I've adjusted too tight for this diameter rope. Yeah. It takes a lot of pressure to initiate the uh, the descent to, to, to do that. All right. Whereas, if you get that dialed in, it should be real smooth. All right, well, as, as soon as we've got it set up, why don't you go readjust it and try it up again, go up another 20 feet and redescend. Let's do it. You should, while we're set up. Much smoother, much easier to initiate the, the descent. So when you're limb walking and stuff, you don't have to go, uh, uh. Oh, because Whereas you readjusted it to a better. Before it was jerky, so I was trying to get out on that limb, but it's like pulling and then slipping. Uh. Whereas now it should just gently go. Hmm, okay. Pretty nice. Good job. You like that rope? Uh, super smooth. 
Seems so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Yeah. I bumped it up a little. Oh. Uh. Looks pretty good. Okay. Super smooth. I think you did pretty good on it. I'm just sitting there. So using this type of canopy anchor, you can easily retrieve the rope by pulling down on this side. And because of the quickie, there's very little friction. Oh, it ties out. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see now it's free. That's something to think about. Let me see this little device here, what you got set up. Oh, so it, it runs through this. Yeah. That makes it run real smooth. That's yeah, so you can't you can't use a carabiner for that because it would cross load it around the branch. Oh. Because it wraps around like this. But this little sucker is rated for 30 kilonewtons like this and yeah. 13 like this. So it's just super strong and really provides a nice friction free way. Rope! Getting your rope down. Good job. Okay, so you use a butterfly knot. Why do you use a butterfly knot versus, say, a figure eight knot? Um, easier to untie, one. But also it loads the rope in a more uh, uh, even direction, I think, on both sides like oh, that. Oh, okay. And it's just as strong. It's just as strong, but it's much easier to untie than a... Uh, yeah. I figure it. Okay, go ahead, show us how to tie the, the butterfly knot real quick. Okay. So I like to use the method where I wrap around my hand three times, put the middle one go that way, and take the right one, go to the center, and you got your butterfly knot. Oh, that was pretty easy. Pretty good. <laughs> All right, now that you've invested in this notch, what's this called again? That is the Rope Runner Pro. Rope Runner Pro. You've invested in this. How much was this? This is like 350 bucks. And then the carabiner's another? Carabiner's another 30 bucks. Okay. The Haas Neo Center is about 150 bucks. That's 150 dollars? Yeah. The Jet Foot Ascender is 100 bucks. Okay. And this is this one doesn't have teeth in it? No teeth. Okay. Well, sort of has teeth. They're, they're, they're just different. Versus, look at this one here. This one actually has teeth. Okay, that one's a little bit sharper. Yeah. Okay, so this this with this is one hundred and fifty dollars. How much? How much is this? That's a hundred bucks. Okay. Just uh, harness was only like fifteen or twenty bucks. Okay. This the quickie thing? is twenty nine ninety five. Thirty bucks. How much was your rope? So you're supposed to use uh, certain types of rope with the Rope Runner Pro. I used uh, my old half inch line, and it works, but it's real jerky. Okay. Uh, to get the actual smoothness that people are always talking about with the rope runner, you got to use a specific rope. So I chose the tachyon rope. It's 11 and a half millimeters and it uh, feels nice and smooth. 
uh, with one tie dye. Uh, I think it was 160. Hundred sixty. Like so you you're looking about a thousand dollar investment here, aren't you? And that's not even including that uh, the harness. Um, uh, the you know the harness is something separate. I mean, harness is something separate. Everyone needs a harness. Right. Clearly, I need a new harness. Look at that old beat up piece of crap. <laughs> but uh, yeah, next thing is I'll probably get new harness. Okay, what kind of harness are you gonna get? I don't really know yet. The monkey beaver? I don't know. That's what everyone says I should get. Well, but that's, uh, that's what August says. Yeah. Right. But I don't know. I kind of like that petzl sequoia. <laughs> but honestly, I'd be happy with anything that didn't crush my nuts anymore. <laughs> I think the one I've got, I've had it forever, but man, you go in the tree wrong, whoo, junk gets smashed. 